Musicians should come boldly and tell me what their structures are. This is what Shatawale is saying. And why is he saying that there is a story? My name is Honey TV Star and this is Play Plus Extra. So Shatawale posted a message on Facebook and I find this very, very interesting. You all should listen to this. Please subscribe and show me love. So this is it. Ghetto youth. Don't make nobody lie to you. None of our school system teaches radio pundit calls, blogging, vlogging, entertainment analysts, and all those bullshit. Ghana's entertainment is meaningless until everyone sits down with shatter movement for the best direction. Many ask me why I don't go by their doings and I tell them this, so let's go. People that work with the governments who are not ministers nor real government officials get rich by lobbying for jobs and other contracts to make it in life. Example, contractors. It doesn't matter how these contractors stoop low and even kiss us to get what they want. Why? Because any government that comes to power always has that structure to make people rich in their own way. Just forget politics for a second and get what I'm saying, please. In a nutshell, there is structure. So if you are not, so if you are smart, you can make money in government. Okay, since you are following what I'm saying, let's come back to Ghana music. Musicians come musicians come out boldly and tell me what their structure is if not by his grace and that them and they themselves have have hustled and created a life for themselves when was the last time we ever had a musician in ghana using his royalties to build a mall a hospital or a library or even hostels but elsewhere is happening and that core given back to society part of our csr rights okay okay when was the last time we had a musician made money from music and he or she is supporting a politician for a campaign rather vice versa they will rather go and collect chicken change thinking they are doing their job forgetting that we rather have a, we rather have to give these people the support so that when they when we talk to them they will take our statements serious but they won't okay but but our musicians living in a well-structured environment to do that a big no you know why it's all because we have we have made our minds not change anything in our music sector we want government to do that if we if we don't let them know how serious we are and how they can help us but let's forget that we only think we only think of fun and the glamour life but when it comes to cracking the brains for the business no and i mean big no today i hear a lot of people saying if i had come down for these so-called gatekeepers i would have gone far and i laugh like this what a small far in an what a small far of an achievement compared to an industry that did not even sleep to imagine such a great collaboration will come hit will come hit them in the face boom beyonce featuring shatawali just like david's story okay so in the bible he was sold by his brothers never knew he was going to be a king that's my story all i'm saying is that if there was a way of making ghana musicians wealthier than many portray these days then i shall also mellow and lobby my way through because i know dole dole into bracket hauser okay i can put my request through one or two people and lay my hands on some better deals and make the music dream come to reality superstar life
Ladies and gentlemen, I won't talk much, but you could kindly talk to a living legend that I constantly want to fight for since they have they have been through this journey and might explain it better for us to understand. Legends like Amachi Dede, Kojo Enchin, Daddy Lumba, etc. These men I have mentioned stood on their feet to get where they are today. And trust me, if they had waited for Ghana music, they would have felt like many. Kojo Enchi is rich. But I know he will say he is not because all what he has he has now is what he struggled for by himself. But the music industry has not given him the structured and standard wealth. Same applies to DL and Adidas, Daddy Lumba and Amachi Dede. My little advice to the young generation is that don't let anyone lie to you. Please. Ghana music is not well structured so carefully when you want to be part of the world it's filled with unprofessionals and disappointed musicians who are filled with pain and anger to to be celebrities and people people like to people like people like that so we can't control the so-called Ghana music industry no they can't this is so sad for every musician in Ghana. Note, I know many will say, many will be saying all oh, this is bullshit. Yes, it is. You have been brainwashed about how an artist should behave in an industry. Yes, I already know. That's why I'm making money moves and it's working here for me. And if there was an industry, it won't be complaining. I won't be complaining like the way rich business don't complain, even though the government do not the, go, the government don't do many things right. The target is that money when we the target is that money when you have it from a well-structured avenue you will only complain with your rich friends by poolside or your office and not on Facebook and Twitter like I'm doing thank you for reading my nonsense okay so this is a piece that Shatawale posted on Facebook and when you look through it you will really understand more and that is how the industry is and when you know and you understand it very well you'll be able to sell through so to all the underground or the upcoming artists those who want to do music you should know how things work and you should also get a structure that will you know protect you and your talent this is so good so this is it thank you for watching and for um Shatawale advising ghetto youth. I mean, this advice should go um, for all of us. You know, now in Ghana, people are just, you know, crying that there is no money. And even now, when you complete um, the university, the degree holders, it's even difficult to get a job. Have you asked yourself why? Yes. And even those who are who have specialized skills like nurses and teachers are all suffering. Some of them even don't get a job this is like this is what we are facing now and so if you have a skill if you have a talent make good use of it because ask yourself people are crying for money but still people also have money so have you asked yourself why people have money and people are still poor it is well so just keep pushing your dreams your talent everything and one day you also get there thank you for watching this is honey tv star and play plus extra kindly uh, subscribe sorry and show me more love bless up oh and this is because you have to keep watching play plus tv bless up ground up to the top you almost have to talk about kwami jineke i'm a rock star keep watching play plus don't go anywhere keep it locked Thank you.